take a look at this picture very closely, some people might suggest that Meghan Markle is in fact exploiting, invading, and more importantly, using two friends. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to have your company today. And as ever, welcome one and all brand new subscribers. By the way, for those that do enjoy these little historical footnotes, it's hard to think, isn't it? As I've often said here on the show, show business is a fickle business, you know. And way back on this day in 1962, a major change happened in the face of pop music because Pete Best, the original drummer, of the Beatles was sensationally sacked by the manager Brian Epstein. And of course, you know, if you've checked out that story, and I'm sure many Beatles fans have, it was incredible really because then his mother went on television with him, sat at the side of him to sort of protest. You couldn't imagine that happening today, could you? You know, I mean, I thought, bless his mom sticking up for him, you know. There he is, a grown man, sort of sitting there very silently while his very forthright mother went on to say what she truly thought about Mr. Epstein. Of course, he had his moments of fame and went on to have his own very successful music career. Perhaps so, still a little bit slighted, many might suggest, at missing out on such a wealth of wonderful experiences as part of the Beatles. Now, will these two friends of Meghan Markle's truly feel the same in years to come? You see, it's an interesting picture, this, because as we've often said here on the show, all of the jokery about Meghan and Harry invading their own privacy and the worldwide privacy tour is all out the window. This is what I mean. They have double standards about themselves. You take a picture as did the people with Backgrid in NYC in the fake car chase, they want the role of film, they need to control it. On the other side of the coin, these pictures were released today on another dead August news day, taken away, of course, from any talk about His Majesty the King's plans for his birthday and indeed the fact that Princess Kate went along to a music festival, seething his Meghan at every opportunity. Now, what's interesting here is these particular individuals apparently are snapped at a birthday celebration the ongoing celebration seemingly on her own without Prince Harry. One is a makeup artist, so no doubt being paid to smile, some people might suggest. But what's interesting, and this is the bigger point to note here, is Meghan herself, as we know, doesn't have her own open media social platform yet. We know she has some platforms. But what's interesting is here, her team, Meghan, whatever, are looking at this to see how well served it is. They can check the comments without offending. And of course, these two individuals have a substantial amount of social media followers. So while she allows them to place her image, invade her privacy on their social media platforms, then that's fine because of course, well, she's given her permission. And that's right, you know, that's her own, you know, absolute right. But as she stated in the Oprah Winfrey interview, everyone has a basic right to privacy. Now, they do, but seemingly only when it suits Meghan. And one might suggest that her team at the William Morris Agency are frantically looking at the analytics. This is the breakdown of how that picture's been received. It's a pared down Meghan, simple makeup, enjoying gal pal lunches on her birthday. But the meaning behind it, is far more serious. And this will really shape branding Meghan independently, individually, away from Prince Harry. Thing is, he's nowhere to be seen, of course. He was over in Japan. Will it work? As ever, I'd love to know what you think to this particular story in the comments below. And more importantly, has Meghan truly invaded her own privacy at the behest, of course, of those close friends? <clears throat> Neil Sean in the very heart of London.